Start your website with GoDaddy.com and use code NEWS295 for one new.com. Some limitations apply. See website. Welcome to The Know. My name is Gray, and a group of researchers at the University of Michigan are working on developing contact lenses with built-in night vision. Because wearing enormous headgear while walking home at night is so unfashionable, apparently. <laughs> Current night vision solutions put off their own heat radiation, and as a result, require cooling solutions to prevent confusion of the sensors, hence the size. And even video games like Metal Gear Solid and Splinter Cell have been stuck with the constraints of reality when it comes to seeing in the dark. The researchers have developed a graphene-based solution, which allows it to do the work of sensing the light spectrum, but it only requires a few atoms of thickness. Graphene is essentially a layer of graphite a single atom thick, so as to be practically two-dimensional, and it's a crystalline allotrope of carbon. A University of Michigan's professor of electrical and computer engineering, Zhao Wei Zhang, explains the benefit of using graphene, saying, we can make the entire design super thin. It could be stacked on a contact lens or integrated with a cell phone. Now, previous implementations of graphene have exposed limitations, like a lack of sensitivity through some parts of the light spectrum. But the Michigan researchers have overcome this by using insulating barriers between layers of graphene. Sending an electrical current through the bottom layer amplifies the dislodged electrons in the top layer and bam, night vision that can detect not only visible light, but also ultraviolet light and the full infrared spectrum. And while giving you contact-based superpowers is cool, the researchers believe that these developments could have significant benefits in other fields. Our work pioneered a new way to detect light. We envision that people will be able to adopt this mechanism in other material and device platforms, says Jean. This could allow surgeons and medical staff to monitor blood flow in patients without resorting to scans, or could allow art historians to look at subsurface layers of paint and pieces of art. Vincent van Gogh painted over 30 self-portraits between 1885 and 1889. Imagine being able to see those portraits after all. And that's it for now. We'll keep you posted as science brings science fiction to the real world. For all the biggest updates, make sure that you click like and subscribe, and we'll get you everything you need to know.